Right. You niggas get sent to the stove. I run up the paper, can't let it get low. We don't bother no haze and I'm still will get low. We still hop out them cars and we make them get low. This, this is low and you on the set. So, yeah, man. Uh, I'm glad we got that off. So, it was a cur couple current events uh, that uh, happened. Um, we gonna, we going to skip to this. Um, shoot. We going to go through the whole uh, DC rap scene because, like I said, it is over. Let's go. Bring that shit. All right. So, I think this is uh, year to date today. Yeah. It's over 20 DMV rappers that are incarcerated. All right. So, shit. I ain't even know this. God damn. So, you got... And, and that's another thing, too. You the only rapper, you and another... Probably like two more rappers that I did that's not locked up now. So shout out to you and, and keep your nose clean. But you got No Savage. You got, uh, what's my man name? You got Money Ma. Mm -hmm. You got No Three. You got, um, CHV Top Soldier. Fair Ye. My boy. You got, uh, Giz Walk. You got, What's uh what's my boy name, man? I can't even think of the boy name from Merlin. Mir Mirax. Oh, That's yeah. that boy name. You got Walk Down Will. You got JG uh Wardy. You got shoot, the list goes on, baller. Cruddy Murder just got added to the list. Mm -hmm. Uh it's just and the list goes on and on and on and I don't wanna name all of these guys. Uh, freedom though. I'm be honest, freedom, bro. I'm be honest. That shit fucked me up a little bit though. Like that shit fucked me up, bro. I just wish niggas would have just moved a little smarter. You hear me? Yeah. Cause cause at the end of the day, that's that's fucking the whole scene up. So I ain't. I don't wish jail on nobody. So, nah, for real freedom. though. For real, freedom. For everybody. So man, cause like I ain't gonna lie, man. I was mad as hell at the savage shit. I'm, yeah. I'm mad at all of this shit to be honest because they were like, you know, these guys were kind of the forefront of the DMV rap scene, yeah. and they had a bigger responsibility than, you know, what I'm I saying. I feel like it, no funny and as a rapper, bro, it's too, it's a lot of pressure, bro. I feel like if Savage wouldn't have did that, he would have faced the pressure. He probably would have fell off to the people. Did like the fan, the fan. I ain't gonna lie, no, I ain't trying down the fans, but the fans. I ain't gonna even say the fans, the, the fake pages and all that. Them type of fans, them be the ones who fuck the shit up for real. Cause, what if he ain't do that? Then a nigga woulda or, or handle it how I handle it. You get what I'm saying? Then he probably woulda got looked at different. But he got a whole kid out here. You hear me? Like, and that's who really matters though. That's real. That's really gangster. So niggas, niggas, niggas was clowning them over there. Like, that's really a nigga life. Right. He trying to protect yourself, you hear me? So, that's how I feel about that. I feel that. And you kind of brought up your situation, and, I, and I'm glad you did. Um, because you, it could have went that way for you. But, like, you having enough um, self-control to kind of, like, how... Because I know I wasn't dead. I'm not dead with when these things. I know I react. Mm -hmm. And that's the first thing I do. I react, and I I feel like most of us kind of react to to yeah. certain stuff like that. But you kind of took a approach where you had like I mean, it was talking and shit going on. I just ain't think you know what I'm saying. You don't think cameras and shit gonna get pulled out. So it was like yeah, once you see them cameras, man, fuck that, gone yeah. the other way. I ain't trying to show off for the camera or not. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I feel that. I don't bro. think nobody should. I be feel honest. that. Yeah, I feel that too. It's, I don't feel like the stupid. first thing you should do if if it's a difference between gangster and stupid, bro. That's what niggas gotta understand. It's a difference. You go crash out, bro. That's being stupid. That's not gangster. So it's a difference. Hmm. Hmm. I hope somebody take that to the bank and cash it. God damn, boy. Um. Yeah, and you right about that too. It's a fine line between it, it's a cause fine some, line, bro. Cause, cause some people would think some stupid shit was some gangster shit to do. Yeah. Not like, look at your dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just me personally. But you're right about that. I wanted to kind of go into, um, I wanted to kind of go into like 
Because we always had this debate, like, what was worse, the, you know, back then or now? What you think? Like, I'm talking about, uh, if we talking about shit. back then, I'm talking about, like, the... 80s, 90s. Uh, I'm gonna say that uh, we we had this discussion all the time. I think the 90s was worse, as far as the the killing and shit like that. It was more, but it's worse now though. This clout era shit is the clout era worse than the crack era, bro. To me, mm. cause it's like clout killing everything, bro. It's no more for nothing, like. You got white kids that'll pull out a camera. You get what I'm saying? Everybody, this shit ain't just black, bro. It's everything, bro. So it's like, if that shit keep continuing on, rap gonna be dead in my ass. Mm. I feel like rap gonna be dead. It ain't just DC, bro. Pay it attention. Ain't though. Yeah. yeah, like that shit, that clout shit killing everything, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a type of rapper, bro. I don't even really care about the clout, bro. I just want the business behind the scenes. Fucking how this shit going on? I'm gonna retire early. Get on some ball shit, you know. Nah, for real, man. It's just like it ain't paying to be a rapper. It ain't. Like it ain't. you got you see what's going Come on with the shit. with the the young thug case. Yeah. They said well, I I'ma pull up the information so I won't be I won't say any wrong information, but what I'm hearing is um young thug's uh brother, um Funk, uh kinda cooperated with the government. Damn. His yeah. brother? His brother. Yeah. That's crazy. I know, I know, it's just like, it's a crazy I don't world. I how you gonna get out there, man. Free yeah. thug. Like, yo, your brother, like, damn, that's and fucked up. He the nigga who put everybody on, though. Yeah. So, it's just different. So, I had some statistics to support that argument that we was having. Um, And you were right, uh, in the 90s. It was way worse. The, the it was way more killing rate. and shit like that. Yeah, I, feel I just like think the morals and shit. The nine, like I'm gonna say like this. The eighties and nineties, but street niggas was getting killed by street niggas. Now you got niggas shooting graduations and all this other uh, shit. Like, like just like, it ain't nobody <laughs> that's gangster there, bro. That's crazy. Okay, I got, I got this. So in ninety one, that was probably the biggest. In D.C.? Yes, this is in D.C. Yeah, D.C. was definitely worse in the 90s, though. Yeah, 91. We had 509 murders. Dang. And now, if we look for year to date today... Well, we touching, like, 200 right now? Nah, 200? we ain't even that. We had we had 103. 20% more than we was last year. So, we had, like, 86 homicides last year. We got 103 this year. And that's, that's year to date, so that's... June as of June 9th Dang. so that's the day so I mean the the I feel like I feel the like nine, the 90s it was just more gangster shit going on bro it's just more goofy shit going on right now yeah I feel like we just get the information a little just faster yeah. you feel me cause you had to you had to hear about it the next day and the technology just a little different man it's so fucked up nowadays bro niggas really get conversation off who dying and shit like you got niggas who check that kill mo page like every five like minutes every, and shit like nah, that you know for like, real though this shit really deep bro I'm for smiling real. but it's really deep bro for real like, bro really like fucked up that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, man. You got like, niggas who check that shit every 10 minutes. Like, religiously. That's nuts, bro. Shit, so we're going to get into the album, man. We're going to get into this new project you got going on, man. The Voice. The Voice. I feel like that should have been a, 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 a album or a project you had. Perfect timing, though, bro. I ain't going to lie. I feel like I went through some shit. Y'all, like, learned from a lot of shit. Got better, got way more shit to talk about. Like this voice jump, like I ain't even just saying me. When, like on the voice, I'ma have hella features. Like we all the voice type shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm just trying to be the nigga that speak up on shit a little bit. Uh -huh. Cause I ain't gonna lie, a lot of top rappers be scared to speak up on real shit. Like don't try to. It's a lot of top rappers that try to click up with somebody cause they had and all that. Like, really, really get them game, bro. Really put them on the game. Like, fuck all that trying to underarm so you can blow him up and shit, and he still crashing and shit. Like, even like Savage, I feel like Savage should have been gone. Like, 
whoever the big homies or whatever it is, a nigga gonna do what he do regardless, but nah, you gotta really snatch a nigga, nah, move out Cali, bruh. Move out here, bruh. There's no way you at no savage level or whatever that level is and still living in D.C., bro. They gonna hate you, like, mm. shit ain't, you can't stay here, bro. You can't, so, why ain't you trying still to hit that. I ain't, I'm, I'm still grinding, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, best believe when I hit that, yeah, I'm pushing that button. Yeah. I ain't, can't, can't no nigga take it. I don't give a fuck about all that. Oh, he, uh, he ain't from it. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't hear a nigga say I ain't from the hood yet or, you know what I'm saying, or some shit like that yet. But I ain't glorifying it, but at the same time, like, nigga, we been in this shit 20 plus years, you gotta get the fuck up out of here. And I got real, I got niggas doing 20, 17s, and 15s, I talk to every day, telling me this shit, so why, I ain't listening to no rapper or a nigga behind the page that's saying, oh, you fake as shit for leaving, it. nah, like, I, I got real OGs and shit from my hood that's telling me, like, man, fuck what they talking about, as soon as you get that shit, shorty, get up out of here, you know what I'm saying? But youngest ain't really got that now though.